also helps if I turn it the correct direction. I'm trying to tighten it down. <laughs> Which one need to tighten? This one. Okay. Move your hand out of the way though. Thank you. I'm trying to hold the camera. Well, don't worry about that right now. Good? Well, for now. Let me uh, move. Put sides. Try tightening that too? Yeah. Probably tight enough. Let's do one more. Let's see, it goes this way. I'll tight too far because it could break it. Yeah, that would be a problem. Yeah, I definitely want the bigger grip here. Huh? The, th the thicker piece of rubber. Yeah, I think if you use the either, uh, and I got some in the, in my drawer. Uh, what do you call it? Well, something like the tethers that you Tether, got. Tether, yeah, I got. Something like the tethers you got for your GoPro. That's what I'm just, I, I've got just some more. Just attaching uh, one side here, looping around, and then attaching the other side here Attach as well. one right up here. Not to, not to this? Well, you do. You can do two of them. Actually, one here and one here. Kind of keep it tight. So it, is it going to be? Is the loop actually big enough for that? Because those tethers are designed to attach to this part. You could bring the whole thing around and run run the other part of the tether through it. Mm, true. And then somehow attaches to that. Something to look at. At least until I and uh, can justify the the taking out a loan for a new bike. <laughs> Yes. In which, ca in which case we have yet another uh, logistics of figuring out where to attach everything. Exactly. Yeah, because remember I said that one, I wouldn't be able to attach it to the dash the way we were talking about doing here. Right. Because of how it, how it slanted. Right, right. Well, they might have like Jim and Tracy on their bike. BMW makes a thing right here. Damn it, you gotta look this way. Makes the thing right here that bolts to their the front of the bike. Did you hear what I said? Uh, that bolts to the front of the bike. And the camera mount's right there. See if I'm a wire. Probably sit now.
one, like uh, like Dad said and like I said, I actually need the bigger rubber grip. We talked about doing the tether to see if we can have something that wraps around it and attaches to here and it's just, you know, tight enough to... Well, I'm wondering if Bernie can make you something, it. yeah, go, I don't care, that would go across here that you could put your camera mount on. The tripod mount was uh, loose. would go where? Right across here. That would fasten down. Well, problem is, as far as some of the issues we were having with it loosening up, is you still have two different screws that need to be tight kept tight enough. Right, but this there. would eliminate one problem. Yeah, it'd be two screws instead of three screws. But I gotta check the footage to see if that works as far as height. Pitch camera. Yeah. Is it contributing? Not yet. It's currently at. Okay, battery works. Need to check the footage to see how it works for height. And the other thing is figuring out uh, better options for mounting to keep the to stop recording the sky all the time. Or the road, yeah. Well, no, it's a 360. It's recording both. 80 miles? 81. 81 on the nose is what it was. I think I almost get on. But, yeah, as far as the reason for trying this, it may well be worth getting another one of these things for that camera and attaching it to the dash because uh, that was one of the things I wanted to try it out for. Because huh? that was one of the things I wanted to try it out for, see if it would be worth getting a second one for that camera versus just using this one for that camera and, and you know, giving up on the idea of using the 360. Sure. Push in on watch. But the height would be the main thing right now was to see if that actually brings it up high enough to 